you doing in a paddock, Adam? Just going to explore some ponds. What, out here? What? Out here? Out here, you say? Nothing I don't believe it. you. <laughs> My name's Adam. I'm an Australian freediving champion, but because of COVID, I can't compete. So while we're waiting for the world to open up again, me and my wife Erin and our daughter Ellie are going on a freediving road trip around Australia. We're going to be living out of our tent and diving everywhere. So subscribe to follow the journey and a huge thanks to our patrons for making this all possible. Good morning freediving family, I'm here in Mount Gambier again and today we're going to explore some crystal clear swimming ponds. Uh, we're going to Ewan's Ponds today and I think honestly Mount Gambier is one of the most incredible diving locations on earth. You know, you just cruise through all this like like this like farmland, this pasture land, it's just paddock, 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 paddock and spotted around the whole area is just incredible incredible sinkholes it's really a magical magical spot um so yeah let's go and check out these ponds ewan's ponds so this area is called the the limestone coast and that's because like all the bedrock here and all the, all the ground here is made of limestone and what's really cool about all these country roads is they're not like built they've literally just cleared the dirt away from the bedrock and we're just driving along this like sandy limestone that is the ground here it's phenomenal. In 400 meters, turn right onto Lower Nelson Road West. I will be turning right. So this is Ewan's Ponds and it's like when you look at it from here it kind of looks like this like terrible <laughs> I don't know weird weird swamp but wait till you see what it looks like inside. I don't like sharing the scuba divers. Leave. Leave now. And then you're like Ewan get, get rid of them. Get rid of them, get rid of them Ewan. I don't know how to. This is They've our got pond. Big tanks. Look at that, you can see the bottom, you can see all the reeds. <laughs> oh, you know, maybe it's crystal clear in there. So a few things to know when diving in this wonderland. You are not allowed to wear a weight belt or weights of any kind. And you're not allowed to wear long freediving fins. So all the dives we're doing are with our little pool fins and without any weight to assist us in getting down. Out where the stars forget to shine. The thing that gets me about Ewan's Ponds is the really bright colours, those really bright greens set amongst those really bright blues and the spots of bright limestone everywhere. It's just one of the, one of the, the prettiest places I've ever been. Stuck inside this cage that's built for you Stuck inside this cage that can't fit to. The ponds are fed with spring water that comes through the ground. And you can see here, here's a little section where it's bubbling up through the sand. I wanted to shoot a little Instagram reel uh, using Bella flipping around in circles in the middle of the pond. But um, because she was so buoyant, because she was wearing a five millimeter wetsuit with no weight on, we just couldn't get her like spinning effortlessly. But uh, I did actually come back here on another day and get someone to, to shoot a version of me doing this. And look how graceful I am. Oh my God. Shine. How far you fall were you to call? Clarity is just unreal, like it's just nuts. I have no idea why the water's so clear here, but it's just so, so stunning. And the colors, you know what I mean? Like the greens and the blues and the whites. Um, I'm about to go and swim through the channel, which will take me to the next pond. Through the channel, there's actually like a bit of current. And so all you do is you just like relax and float. And the, uh, the current like takes you down this channel through the reeds to the next pond. It's really cool. In my 
second pond isn't as interesting or, or, or as deep as the first pond, but we found some very cool little fish swimming around, which was cool. I, I suppose I just didn't imagine there would be, I don't know, an, an abundance of fish in this area. It just felt too unreal, too kind of like prehistoric to see little animals like that. Nice. So this is the second pond. It's not as like uh, sexy as the first pond, but it's still very cool. All right, so I'm going to go through the channel to the third pond now. So time for a little ride. The third pond gets interesting again because there's this little rocky cave right in the middle of it and there's this exposed limestone floor and so those those white colours just pop out of you. And in the ponds there are yabbies. In my last video, people were asking me, what's a yabby? So a yabby is a, a, a little freshwater lobster type thing. And this one is a Glenelg spiny crayfish. They're a protected species, so no touching, no taking, no eating, just looking. Yeah, that was the third pond. So we've got the film, you know, me getting out and all that jazz, but that's okay. You don't need to see me stepping out of the pond. Here I am, walking back to the car. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go and um, check out Picaninny Ponds now. It's um, absolutely stunning and uh, crystal clear water as well. Uh, when I was here last, I didn't really get like a really good chance to properly explore it, so I'm keen to do it properly this time. All right, now I'm all toasty warm in the car and we're heading to Picaninny Ponds nearby. So <laughs> get like, 10 15 minutes of being warm and it's time to get cold again. All right, so this is Picaninny Ponds, and uh, just like Ewan's from the top, it looks like just like a swamp. <laughs> but it's amazing and crystal clear underneath, I promise. So we have a special guest here. This is Ant Williams. Uh, Ant Williams, besides being a 100 meter diver himself, is also the deepest human under ice. So uh, this is the ice diver himself. What do you, what do you, what do, you do under ice? It's, it's a crazy experience, because it's <laughs> just so dark, you know? It's like, I mean, water's water. It's the same sort of dive, but like so cold. dark and so cold, it's just foreboding. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's so what makes it fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, Ant's going to go in the, in the water saying he's speedos because he doesn't feel the cold. <laughs> little eel. There's a lot more algae in general floating around Picaninny Ponds, but that's also kind of what makes it so special. Like, look at all of this algae just dripping and draping off all the sides of the pond and the structure. It's, it is like an alien planet. Being in this place is like being on another world. Also, in case you were wondering how we were able to dive down to the bottom of these ponds constantly while wearing thick wetsuits and no weight, it is with exhales. <laughs> I don't recommend diving on exhale in general, but we, we just had to, otherwise we couldn't get down. So as soon as you jump in the ponds, you come to this big like open pool section and, um, and that just kind of continues on for as far as this like wetland goes. But uh, over this way is a crack. This chasm is over 100 meters deep and it goes down in kind of like a, a zigzag so it's not just like a straight descent down to the bottom and it is just insane. Fly from me, you demon bird I will not make myself the third Yes. 
Away from the chasm, the wetland just kind of goes on and on and on in these beautiful picturesque ponds and, and swimming channels and things like that. It was really, really lovely. I actually couldn't find any information about how the traditional owners of the land used this pond or, or used these waterways. No information whatsoever. Which, I don't know, maybe they didn't use it at all. Maybe there's no real uh, connection with this part of the land. Or maybe it's really sad that we don't know. But if you do know, please let me know because I would love to know. What a magic spot. I honestly, I cannot believe this is just sitting here in Australia. Just this random little swampy wetland. Oh, hi Matt and Sunny. <laughs> this random little swampy wetland thing and then there's just magic like absolute magic on the water that chasm slash crack is just phenomenal out of this world anyway i'm bugging now uh we're gonna head back to the jail um i'm gonna show you the jail when i get back there the place where we're staying is really really cool so this is the accommodation that we've been staying at for the past two weeks um it's the old mount gambia jail so like literally the old jail was converted into a hotel and it's like it's phenomenal see these these are rooms <laughs> you see this this is like the old courtyard the old like um exercise yard and uh it's like this incredible old old structure and uh, that the owners have done like a spectacular job of converting into a into like a really nice hotel um and i'm just going to take you around it just because i'm I'm always amazed when I come here, like it's, it's, it's just a phenomenal place. Here's the other, more cells, you know, more cells with your rooms. This is our little function area if you ever want to use it. And um, here, look, this is the like, big exercise yard. Look at this. We do our workshops out here. We do a lot of stuff out here. And um, once again, more rooms. And these are like, really nice rooms inside, you know what I mean? They're like, from the outside, it's a cell but it's been converted into like a really nice room. So um, I know I've made a video before where I showed you around the jail, but I kind of just wanted to do it again because I always lose my mind when I come here. <laughs> and look at these, are, this is the front, this is the door how you get in. Look at that. I'm gonna turn around. You're gonna see like the big entrance and bang, that's what you're coming on. What a place. We were not done for the day. It's so incredible here, we were not dived out. Hey guys, uh, we're back at Ewan's Ponds and we're gonna go for a night dive. Um, I reckon it's gonna be bloody sick. Uh, apparently there are a lot of eels that come out at night so we'll see if we can find them. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've just never gone night diving in a place that's got like unlimited visibility. So, I keep, no sharks. I'm like, why am I stumped? I keep falling over things. Um, yeah, unlimited visibility, no sharks, only eels. Uh, so yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go suit up. By the way, this is Colin, AKA the Silver Fox. Colin teaches a lot of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of our freediving courses in Sydney, which are happening every single weekend. By every the way. weekend. Every weekend we have a freediving course in Sydney. So if you're keen to learn how to freedive in Sydney, flick us an email, I'll put the links, descriptions, website, all that jazz down below. It's really, really cold and my wetsuit's really wet. And this is not fun. All right, so what did I learn about night diving in a place with unlimited visibility? Well, black is still black, even if the vis is amazing. <laughs> if it's not lit up, you can't see much. We spotted our first eel and there it was, just sitting there out in the open. Now, these are short finned river eels. If you remember, uh, a few episodes back, I went diving with long finned river eels. They, they kind of look fairly similar. They're a fairly similar species. Both the short finned and the long finned river eel are found all over New South Wales in this part of Australia. And I think they're both really cute. Now, for whatever reason, at nighttime, there were these chunks of moss or algae or whatever this is, 
detaching from the bottom and floating up to the surface. And I wonder if it's because the eels are more active at night and they're hiding amongst the algae and they're dislodging it or, I don't know, maybe it's something magic. So it was time to go through the channel to the next pond. Um, and this actually like, felt a little bit scary. <laughs> it was just, you know, a very enclosed little space with lots of reeds around. I was like, oh, what's going on around me? We found another eel. So yes, they definitely do come out at night. They just pop on out and sit on the floor. And you can see here again, this is the spring water coming up through the ground into the ponds. Pretty amazing. We spotted a few other species of fish. No, no big fish or anything. Just, just little friendly critters here and there. And this is the silver fox himself exploring the cave at nighttime. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little circular thing down here. Also, check out this video. Or you might want to check out this video because you might like it too.